The Manuel Antonio area and much of Costa Rica is absolutely filled with reptiles. And these are beautiful creatures. Now you'll find very large reptiles, basilisks, iguanas, all sorts of just beautiful lizards that hang out in trees and look at you. We found them in all sorts of places. Bridges are a very popular area. They'll often stand nearby the bridges. It seems to be that the vibration is attracting to them. And you'll see them just hanging out in trees or on ledges. They like the warmth of the cement and they'll often find themselves camped there during certain times of temperature change. Additionally, the iguanas and the other lizards are extremely plentiful. Now, I was quite surprised at the rich colors. You see a green iguana will often turn red to attract a mate. And they weren't just simple lizards. Beautiful textures and colors really integrated into them. And I found just incredible emotional expression on the animals. They made some great portraits. And normally, the iguana is a pretty slow moving creature. So this is a very easy subject to shoot and plentiful to find. On the other hand, if you just keep your eyes open, there are a slew of fast moving lizards around. You'll see these on tree branches and on bark. You'll see them in the shaded areas or even small ones running across the ground. They're a lot of fun and because of the diversity, I recommend capturing them. Now, as I found it, it was best to shoot video often with these. These fast moving lizards were very entertaining and they would move quite quickly as they dart around. Beautiful animals that you could shoot either stills or video with, but the faster moving subjects really held up well to dynamic motion. Another subject that was quite enjoyable was the American crocodile. Now, these crocodiles are very prevalent underneath bridges. And what I found is that they made a great subject. Now, I am smart enough to know that you don't go down into a pit of crocodiles. This is where the long lens comes in handy. But because they're often hanging out under bridges, you can really handheld the shot. You've got a stable platform to lean on, or you could set the camera down to brace it. Or of course, if you've got a tripod with you, absolutely use it. These creatures are a lot of fun, but I recommend shooting a raw photo. You see the raw image will be much easier to recover and there's a lot of texture and detail within the skins. Besides this though, you could go ahead and actually use Camera Raw additionally as a filter. I found that using Camera Raw as a filter on the video that I captured really brought it to life with these crocodiles. Now, the crocodiles are often under these bridges, but they are in a couple of other places I'd like to point out. For example, we noticed that when we were going out from the mangroves into the estuary area and then eventually into the ocean, they kind of like to hang out where the freshwater and saltwater mixed. This is often an area that's filled with surfers or people doing scuba diving or snorkeling. Now, these are what we call easy targets for the crocodile. And we were quite surprised at just how many of them were right there. So I recommend that if you go swimming, make sure you go in the rougher ocean areas where they're not attracted. In the really calm areas where fresh and salt water were meeting and in some of the canals leading in and out, we saw a nice close up of a couple of crocodiles. Now, they're not exceptionally aggressive, but just be smart. Avoid wading in the water and chasing after birds or trying to wade out and get a shot. When you are in those still waters, crocodiles are prevalent, so your feet should stay inside of a boat.